Hey everyone, my name is Sean and today I'm going to be playing a little bit more of Titan Souls. This is a game recently released by Acid Nerve and published by Developer Digital and it is a ton of fun. In case you haven't seen any of the game thus far, this is a, um, a simple game where you play as this lone character here. The character has a single weapon, is his bow and arrow, and he has one shot at all. You can only be hit once with this character. If you get hit once, you die straight away and you have to start over back at the checkpoint. But also, the bosses that you fight in this game also can only be hit once as well. So it's really an all or nothing battle to see who can get a hit in first. In the last episode, I fought a giant mushroom and then I did a little bit more exploring of the Lost Woods and found this temple here. And I'm now going to go inside and see what lies within. Okay, so we've got like a large rosebud of some sorts here. The arena is um, octagonal in sh shape and size. And I'm going to guess that bit there with the mouth is its weak point. So, let's wake it up and see what happens. Let's get the arrow back. Okay, so he has these spikes or fawn whips and it leaves some kind of poison cloud it looks like and it rotates it's now going the other way oh I better get out of the poison wow I died okay so it looks like you can get killed by either the whips or the poison cloud in this one so um, I'm gonna have to watch out for those okay round two let's go which way is he gonna go he's gonna go that way and here come the poison clouds Right, where's his mouth? Uh, no, now he's rotating the other way. Ooh, gotta watch out for the poison. Ooh, I missed his mouth. Okay, what is he doing now? Okay, he sucked in the poison and he's now rotating it over again. Oh, and I got hit by a plant whip. This game is a ton of fun. It's just so much... Um, Oh, it's really enjoyable just to try to experiment over and over again, getting used to boss patterns. Because when it comes down to it at the end of the day, that's all a boss is in a video game. It's just a sequence of patterns and you've just got to learn how to beat them. And as soon as you learn how to beat them, it's just a question of how long it takes to do that. Sometimes you get bosses in games which take a really long time and they're not really a challenge in terms of skill. It's just you have to repeat beating the same pattern again and again. This kind of breaks it down to its core and basic element of as soon as you've worked it out that's it you win and I kind of like that it's different <laughs> right uh, right there's its mouth I've got to keep an eye on that mouth that it's on the top side now and now it's rotating the other way but I've got these poison clouds in the way so that's gonna be tricky oh gotta be careful right it never seems to want to come to this side so maybe I should stay towards the west side a little bit more Okay, that's it. Keep going, dude. Keep going. Keep going. Now come back around. That poison cloud is getting dangerously close. Let's see. Can I get a shot in? Oh, I looks like I just missed the mouth and I got hit by the poison. How unfortunate. Right, let's go again. Damn. I, I wanted to get a quick hit in there. Okay, let's watch out a little bit. There we go. Now we're going to go the other way. Let's dodge the poison clouds. Can I get in the mouth? Got it! That's exactly what I wanted, but it doesn't seem like it's dead yet. Oh, wow. So what, what's happening now? Oh, wow. It looks like maybe he doesn't die in one hit. Or maybe there's something else to this boss that I didn't quite realize. All right, let's let the whips rotate. Duck underneath. Is he going to inhale? Got him again. Yes! There we go. I opened up one side. Now what do I do? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe I have to shoot inside the leaf. No. Oh, wow. Okay. No, this is bad. Okay, so we're making some progress. So shooting him in the mouth isn't the one-hit shot there of the final blow. We've got to make the petal open and then maybe get another shot inside. Let's try this again. As I've said in my previous episodes, guys, sorry if I go a little bit quiet. I do like to try to focus a little bit because I don't want this to be like 15 retries for you to sit through and get bored. Get my arrow back, please. That poison cloud is a problem. Got it open. Good. Right, that poison cloud's got even bigger this time. 
Let's wait for him to get over there. Ah, oh, no, he's closed it up again. Okay, this is tricky. This is really tricky. Got, do I have my arrow? Yes, I do. Get it back. Ah, oh, and I got hit. As well as going quiet, there may be times where I might just cut out some of these deaths. Because, like I said, I don't want people to get bored watching me fail over and over again. And this is the type of game where you should expect yourself to fail over and over again. If you haven't played this game yet, go and check it out. I definitely recommend it. I do think there is a demo both on PS and on PC. I might be wrong. I'm 100% certain that there is a demo out there. I just don't know if everyone can get their hands on it. But if you haven't played it, go and check it out. It's a ton of fun. Right, here we go again. Right, I know what to do for the basic part. The mouth is going to rotate clockwise. So let's just follow the path clock. That was nice. Come on, you ugly old chew. Let's go. Okay, gotta watch out for that whip. That's it. Come on back. Come on back. Now start to do your inhale. Let's get my arrow back. Watch out for the cloud. Right, gotta wait for the pedal to come back. Uh, no, it's closed up again. Maybe I took too long. Right, that poison cloud is really a problem. Let's. Can I get back up? It's up. Ooh, this is nervous. Where is he? There's the mouth. Oh, it's too late. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. One cool thing about this game as well is that when you do load up your save data, the game does record how many times you have died. So I can see a ton of people are going to be out there trying to make challenges where they are um, going to try to do this in the least amount of deaths possible. I'm pretty sure someone's uploaded a video of the a record already and um, I don't think I could ever compete with that but hey I'm just gonna be happy beating these bosses right let's see oh that was a little bit too close but I really should just stay to the bottom although that cloud oh, okay yeah right I gotta shut up and focus now right on to the west move to the west move to the west now back Let's get ready. Pull it back out. Got it. Now I need to get to the eastern side where the petal will be. Gotcha! Yes! Finally did it. Well, that's kind of pretty as well. Sorry for shouting there guys, but man, it's so satisfying to get a victory in this game. It's a look it probably looks easier than it actually is. And it probably actually is easier than I um than I am making it out to be in these recorders because I am commentating at the same time. But hey, that's not an excuse. I shouldn't make excuses. But um yeah, it's just so satisfying to be able to win in this game and um, it's kinda why I love it. It's really, really fun to play. So guys, I am going to stop there for the time being, as I think that's been about 10 minutes. Sorry for taking so long there, but in the next episode, I am going to explore the forest a little bit more and see if there's anything else to be found. These two lights are now open, so I, I don't know if that means we're done here, but we'll find out in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Much love, take care, and goodbye. Right, let's wait for an opportunity. Gonna dodge those spores. Whoa, 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 whoa. Going a bit frantic there. Okay. Oh, okay. I think if I touch the spores, this is what happens. It makes me go high of some sort. <laughs>